Hi everyone, welcome back to Naval Action. It's Christmas, so it's time we went back and checked down uh, Naval Action and see what's changed. There's been a lot changed since we uh, we last played it. Um, and I have moved my location back to um, Jamaica. I'm at Port Antony. Uh, Antonio, beg your pardon. And we've just got a mission, a search and destroy mission, to go and check out um, a potential pirate threat over here. So that's what we're going to do. Now, we've uh, upgraded our ship. We are still a post captain. But here we are with the Indefatigable, which is a fifth class uh, ship of the line, which is beautiful. She's got 26 um, 24 pound medium cannons down her main sides, and she's got also got 18 12 pound cannons on the top deck. Um, four and aft cannons, uh, you can have nine pounders, but we currently have six pounders at the present time. I uh, just need to complete the upgrade going forward. Now, um, Port Antonio behind us, just look for the uh, cross swords to designate where the uh, intercept point should be. Somewhere out here. Uh, let's have a quick look at the map. Uh, maybe we need to go a little bit further. Maybe we need to go a little bit further north as well. Um, so yeah, we're going to come back and have another look at uh, naval action. We're gonna, just going to do a bit of combat because we haven't done any combat for ages. Normally we're just collecting a little bit of uh, a little bit of cargo from um, capturing trade brigs and trade snows, that kind of thing. So um, this time we are going to do some um, full-on combat and uh, and see how we. Bear. What's that over there? Is that something? Okay, here we are, and we've got our opposition. They are two navy brigs. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I was expecting a larger warship. I've done these um, missions before, and I've normally come up across a frigate, which I was expecting. But we've got two ships, which is going to be a little bit more challenging. Typical. Uh, just as you want to do a video, it... Uh, Decides to throw a couple of curveballs at you. Always the way, but that's fine. So two navy brigs. Um, we're not interested in capturing these. We are purely just looking to send them down to Davy Jones's locker uh, with as much splinter action and death and destruction as physically possible. Wow, no, just a bit of action. That's all we want. So here we are, this beautiful fifth rate. Love this ship. Um... We've got the old uh, six pounders on the front, so. A little bit short. A bit wild. Um, so, what we're going to do is load the um, left hand with chain. And we'll see if we can um, get Peterson with uh, some chain. And then Clark, we're going to try and hit with uh, our guns, although the chain won't be loaded in time by the looks of it. Right, let's try and um, steal in behind them. Let's get Peterson to turn. I want, I want him to turn in front of Clark. There we go. We hold there. We'll give. We'll rake him with our ships. Let's de depower to stabilize the ship. Fire. Okay, time it took to um, fire the cannons, the uh, the 24 pounder, 26 pounders, sorry, didn't really have any um, thing to hit. The good thing is they're hardly causing any damage at all. So what we could potentially do is try and encourage them to just go broadside to broadside and and stick in this position because our hull is thick enough, their armament is weak and uh, just not enough of it to uh, cause us too much. We could be we could be killed by a thousand cuts as it as the saying goes, whatever the saying is, but um, he's going to try and turn behind us. Okay, they are obviously far more maneuverable than we are. So let's, we do not want him to go onto our stern, because that's obviously a weak part of the ship. Cannons are loading now. Uh, should we target Clark? Let's get the uh, 
18 pounders done and then God, it's difficult to They got some crazy angle going on. There we go. Three of the fire for a moment. It seemed to be a what appeared to be a fire on his deck, but he's okay. Right, we've got the uh, 18 pounders, sorry, the 12 pounders, um, the 18, 12 pounders are loaded. We're gonna stick with uh, Peterson because he's been a pain in the backside. Oh my goodness me. There we go, I had my um, aiming sector locked. That's why I was struggling to, I think, do what I wanted to do. Yeah, there you go, that's better. That's better. Oh, we're gonna go down to slow sail. Got a bit of a leak now. We're going to do a turn. All right, so we'll get some sail on, get some speed going. Um, the right hand demo, we're going to swap out for ball. Uh, sorry, the left hand demo, we're going to swap out for ball. Sorry. Come on, push us round. It's better. All right, lovely. All right, we now have the wind in our. Well, not in our favour because uh, they're behind us, but we can now do a little bit more manoeuvring. Right, what I'm going to do now is just head up this direction. Hopefully, Peterson will follow. By the time Clark turns, uh, it will hopefully space us out a little bit to allow us to concentrate on one ship at a time. You see, they're, they're going for our stern. Where our weak armor is weakest. No, look, he's kind of hanging in, isn't he? He's waiting for his buddy boy. Fair enough. Fair enough. Going down to battle sails. D power. The, uh, the big guns now. Oh, uh, what are they doing? He's going to come and rake us at the, the back. I see. Right. Okay. Bit of speed. Can we keep Peterson next to us? Okay, our tail is taking a bit of a hammering by Clark. Okay, they both want to come alongside. I don't mind who wants to come alongside, but if you want to come alongside, that's what I'm wanting you to do. 
is trying to keep us busy on one side and the other one rake our stern well that's fine he's turned away from the wind now so he's going to take a little while to catch us up so if we can stay alongside Peterson don't mind taking a few hits because this ship can take a few hits especially from these uh, smaller vessels see this is ba they're bouncing off you see him Boom, boink. so our side armor is not nice and strong it's just uh, we're a bit weak at the stern. Fire! There you go, stripping his hull armor down. Oops, our rear guns are just slightly missing. speed to try and cut he's trying to circle around in front of us to not let him so a couple of uh, guns still loaded let's fire those if we can into the oh great they weren't exactly where I thought they would be Got a leak. Nice. Right. Depowering fire. Leak, a couple of cannons destroyed, hull is oh hello. They damaged our rudder. So, this one, Peterson is having a bit of problems. He's also getting bombarded by his own uh, squadron mate over here. But don't worry, we've got them on our flanks. You can see the cannibals bouncing off when they hit our strong armor. I'm really not fussed about going toe-to-toe -to -toe with these two. You can see the, uh, the middle bar on his health has been just absolutely demolished by these. 24 pounders. This guy is pretty much dead. Just want to stay with him to finish him off. As the other guns are loaded. Nice, right, the eighteen sorry, the eighteen twelve pounders should be enough to we can turn in the water to get him in shot. There you go. He's dead. Right, we'll concentrate on this guy now. Old Clarky over here. Let's see what he's got. Yeah, he's sinking. He's not long for this world. Right. Let's start closing the range with um, Clark. Yeah, there you go. Peterson's dead. 
It's actually more challenging. Two smaller ships are more challenging than one larger ship. Because obviously one can hold you while the other can um, rake you from the from the stern. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's... Although I was hoping to get a, a nice frigate or something to take on, these... Um, These uh, little ships are uh, a bit more of a challenge, or can be more of a challenge, just because of their manoeuvrability. Their firepower is obviously reduced, so that's that's a you know, a consideration. Right, let's start bringing us alongside. Yes, we got the pat, the sails depowered, and that's just to uh, whoops, um, allow us to uh, get a nice level deck. A little bit longer than she is, but um, her armor on our closest side to us is almost wrecked, so it won't be long now. Use this time, we'll uh, get closer, get slightly ahead. There we go, deep power again. Some of the guns coming online. Clearing the, arm the armor away. Waiting for the big guns to uh, reload. Oh, she's turning away. She knows the big guns are almost done. Ready, and fire. Oh, her health is... Oh, she that probably may have just killed her just in that one... Broadside. But we'll, we'll continue pumping away. She's uh, very low in the water now. Yeah, she's uh, losing her slowdown. The gut, the crew is in giving up sailing and just trying to bail water and pump water and uh, save the ship at this time. Although it's a bit of a futile effort, to be honest. I can't even slow down quick enough. No mercy, I'll we'll keep pummeling her. She's getting a bit low in the water now. I don't think we'll get the main guns loaded in time. I think she'll be gone before then. Oh no. Fire. Okay. <laughs> not, that, not that we can hit her. We took someone's head off, but she's too low in the water. There she goes. Nice. Two relatively easy kills, a little bit of damage to our stern, but nothing much to report. And we lost about 22 men. Not too bad. So there we go, battle report. We've earned 90,000 gold doing that with 474 XP and 10 combat marks. So um, forget what I said previously about uh, if you want to get some money, start stealing some... Uh, or pirating some uh, trade brigs and trade snows and that. That's the easy. That that is an easy ninety grand we've just earned there. Look at that. So that's taken us up to over half a million. Um, so that's nice. Uh, I'm probably going to play a little bit more and try and get up to the next um, rank in our uh, captaincy, which should be great fun. But yeah, that was just another uh, a short video to bring us back to naval action. See how it's gone. Combat's still good fun. Um, I was hoping for a large ship on large ship, but um, it wasn't to be. Maybe another time. But yeah, those two quick um, naval brigs, which was... That mission was a master and commander mission. So that was one below my rank of post-captain. Um, and, you know, I've netted 90 grand in, what, 20 minutes? Easy money. Easy money. So, yeah, that's how I'd recommend getting some money these days. Um, just doing some uh, missions for your nation. And you can easily ranking some of the missions. You can grab more than one mission at a time. I just picked up one because I'm going to go back and repair, get some more men and move forward. So, yeah, thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, revisit back to naval action, a bit of uh, old Age of Sail combat and sailing. Uh, and we may well come back here in the new year. So thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying your Christmas period and your holiday period. And I'll see you in the new year. So take care. I'll see you then.